Nat King Cole there. He's just the best, isn't he? And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. Why drink dirty radioactive water when you could have it pure and bottled? Shen Kowalski's Clean Water Market, straight from the filter. This, uh, this is Billy Holiday, I think? Yep, yeah, it is. Here it comes.
civilian in the perimeter. Check the <laughs> fire. That was uh, Uranium Fever by, uh, by, uh, by Elton Britt. <laughs> yes. Right. So, so. Get back to hell. Exterminate them! Send them back to hell! So, um, this radio station, we, we, we don't really make any caps. And, uh, there are, uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. Swatters. Own a piece of Diamond City history, and then beat people to death with it. Here's, uh, ooh, well, it's a fun one. Uh, feel free to, uh, rock out. Or whatever it is people do nowadays. <clears throat> we appreciate the assistance, civilian, but what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Sanctuary Hills, on the other side of Concord. I've seen the location on our maps, but I've never visited the area myself. There isn't much over there for us to collect. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? We need allies, not opportunistic mercenaries. I have no inclination to pay for your services. All right. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Give me a pile of experience. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding.
What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Danny, open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, scrapped that for parts. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. I support the news because I want to have Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I... I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city is a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I want Piper's hat. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You, you hear that, that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Does it have an ice cream shop? A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any cases? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No bull? Well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Hey, 
What's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My baby's been kidnapped. His name is Sean. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I think people are gonna panic if they find out the marriage is spent. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. The Institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Sure hope so. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? McDonough telling the truth? What does he have to hide? Favorite clips on quite a show, huh? Quite a show. Hate it when they bring up the Institute. Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. With everything I've been through, nothing scares me. That right. Huh. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? I'm looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? My baby was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. I can't imagine what kind of pain you're going through. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, They've turned a blind eye as well. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up. But there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years. But so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. 
I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before? For the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and... Oh, my God, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Hey! Shoot! Hey! Hmm? Something to say? I think we're done, for now. Sure thing. I'll head home. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything from Fred. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair.
everyone else may be closed, but diamonds... Let's see what you got. The highest... Sure. There's a bar in the old theater district that's paraders only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. We had a pop school. quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that knowledge with a little quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a high degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? <sighs> all right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Hey, ah, you know a new scholar no, come to join us. Let's it's test true. your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Is it 180? That's right. I see your parents raise you with a respect for your education, family. It is important, yes? This thing called love, I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. A child needs all the love you can give them. Oh, please do not get upset. Why is it when I talk about these things there are always tears? I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just... I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about, do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? If you love someone, hold on to them. Tomorrow you might not have the chance. I... thank you. You have helped me make up my mind about something. Who can tell you? If Henry and Sally had four mute fruits, and they cut them all up into four slices each, Sorry, How many slices would the they have? Place. Sixteen. This is a That's school, easy. Not a ah, school. but what if Henry and Sally have twenty slices, but they only cut each mute fruit four times? How many mute fruits did they start with? Hmm. They started with twenty and divide by four. Five. They had five. Very good. A school, huh? Yes, every child in Diamond City gets a free education here. 
We even teach night classes if they have busy day schedules. <laughs> I'm afraid you're a little old to be enrolling here. Doubt you'd fit in the seats. But it's a public building, so feel free to look around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my lesson plans. Oh, Mr. Zubiki, you look so tired. Perhaps you should take the day off. And leave you here alone with all the students? I, I wouldn't do that to you. You're... You're... I'm... You're... You're worrying too much. I'll be fine. Yes. Yes, of course. If you drink water out in the Commonwealth, you'll get sick. That's what my friend Shang told me. Well, hello. Sometimes you go on field trips to the Science Center. Those are my favorite. Miss Reesh, your math scores this year... Your parents make excellent. some here, too? You really should consider joining the Science Center. Hi there. I don't Only know. subject I like I read at the uh, security you get to look at maps That way I can hit people who deserve it. That's... Well, I suppose enthusiasm is a good trait to have for security. But I really want you to keep the science center in mind. You can have hey, just as much fun Mr. Zwicky calls all of us by our last names. I don't know why. I like my first name better. Mr. Zwicky says I talk too much, but I hardly talk. Ever. I should study. Mr. Zwicky is a teacher. Isn't he wonderful? I mean... Officer? Knowledgeable? You cause trouble. There's gonna be trouble. Got it? I need to talk to you about this writing assignment, Mr. Wallace. It's great, isn't it? I'm thinking next time, Super Mean and Joe grows a second head, and they start arguing with each other. You were supposed to write a report identifying the different animals of the Commonwealth. There's not one mention of ramen, rat stags, or even mire marks in here. Oh! A Myrler! That would be a great villain for the next chapter. Super Mean at Joe versus the Fish King. Well, I suppose part of teaching is about encouraging creativity. Park the car in the yard? How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Something His ties. Wrong? Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh. I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. 
Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. Cheng, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Chang. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference, thank you very much. You look a little roughed up. Should talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. Hi there. Hey, I love to chat, but I don't have time. Um, hi, there. Travis. I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay. I usually don't. <sighs> this is why, this is why. And now, uh, a word for several from our sponsors. Choice Chops. Want you to know we have meat. Just meet. This radio How station, um, well, <laughs> well, uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. So. Sir, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the sense. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even... Ah, uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh, look. We have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear... If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but... Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Who gives a crap, Rays? No, not quite what we're looking for. The answer is gamma rays. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. 
But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? You are one huge nerd. I, for one, take that as the highest compliment. Science teaches us the lessons we need to survive, now more than ever. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloatfly gland. You see, the oversized bloatfly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job, I get paid. This isn't about money. This is about science. You gotta do it for the love of exploration. What did you need me to do again? Go out, find yourself a bloatfly, collect a gland, and get back here to get the rank of junior scientist. Up for it? Get the bloatfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Dissecting a bloatfly can be fun. Just avoid getting stung to death, and you'll be a junior scientist in no time. Word is something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the booze. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real diamond. Redim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of the story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When well, out comes the, the most dangerous of all sea monsters. What? A Meyer Lurk! A Meyer Lurk? <laughs> Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. Jim! Uh, I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> No, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. I'll take a look, sure. Music to my ear. Customer. Need a room? All right. Here. You're in room two, just through the door. 